Hello, Jess Too Good here, back from another LEGO Ultra Agents Summer 2015 review, and today we're reviewing set number 70171. It's called the Ultra Sonic Showdown. It has 187 pieces, two minifigures, and retails for $20 in the United States. Now let's take a look at the minifigures. And here's the first minifigure, Professor Brainstein, and if that name sounds familiar, this was actually a character that came in a set from earlier in this year, Turned Bad, which he came in that tuxedo, I think it was a 4x4 set, like 50 bucks or something like that. And this is the evil version of him. He has the same torso print as that, but uh, totally new face print, totally new body, and all these new molds, which are just crazy awesome. So just a little quick around look at that, but let's look at the best part, which is just basically his head and then his little helmet right here, which his headpiece... That is scary. Look at all those veins. Oh my gosh. He looks really, really evil. Unfortunately, no back face printing, but that front is just satisfying enough. And then you have this little uh, helmet right here, which is very cool. You got this new helmet mold on the bottom, which actually has some studs on the sides like that. And I was hoping this front part would be a stud, but this actually isn't a stud, but that's okay. Um, it fits really well on a minifigure. And there's actually uh, two by two of studs right there and it's covered with this little kind of glass jar top not a new mold or anything like that Then this brain piece which actually has a stud attached to the bottom and Then once you take off that stud you can see this little molding right here Which is what I would think would be the dome with the little kind of technic receiver inside But actually there's no kind of uh, Receiving kind of uh, edges to that or ridges So this is I, this may actually be a new mold because you could actually fit it on a minifigure neck if you want But it would only get halfway very cool on the printing on that and it's not a ball joint, so very interesting on that molding, but the printing's very cool. It's a brain printing, but it carries around all around, and it looks very just crazy awesome. It, it, it's weird, but very cool. Then on the bottom half of Professor Brainstein, he has some awesome parts as well. He uses the little robot arms right there with these uh, little spiked peg pieces. And they use that a lot in that kind of iron color in the Summer 2015 Ultra in its line. But what that results in is kind of this... Uh, a little bit like a, a mechanical spider like legs which are very very cool you can move them up and down and there's actually four of those so you can make different positions if you'd like and you can just kind of use them to your advantage and they also have this kind of uh, part in the middle which is shown on the box to kind of use this uh, a little bit like a jetpack feature where it kind of propels fire so you could kind of float around in the air but what you could use that for is just to kind of make the legs more stable for different positions so that works very well and he also has this little one by two tile with a sticker on it. That's not a print, unfortunately. It has a uh, anti-matter face on it, and it says mission. It's on that new walkie-talkie mold for uh, summer 2015, I believe. And then he also has this turret back here, which is a little bit like War Machines, where it actually has this little stud shooter right here, and of course the stud shooter. You can shoot like that, and you can move it all around, which is pretty cool. And on the back of his uh, body, you can see there's actually this attachment from his neck. And if you take all that off, you actually have this little printing on the back which says AC Research, Astro City Research. But like I said, this torso is not exclusive to the set, but still a very cool print overall. Here is Agent Curtis Bolt. This is the cheapest way you get him, even though the same version comes in a set that's $10 more, which is the Drill X Ultra Agent set. Um, but still very cool. Uh, love his printing on his torso, his face, and his legs. Also, his hair is very nice to get that combed hair in brown uh, once more because I always love getting that combed hair in brown. Looks very neat and very nice. And on the back, if you see, he has some back torso printing and some alternate face printing. Very cool overall. And also, you get this white gun, which I believe does not come in the Drill X set. That's the cheapest way you can get that gun in white. So, very cool inclusion right there. And now let's go on to the set itself. So here's the ultrasonic jet, and I'm so impressed with this. It's a very cool and unique build, but it also has some great symmetry going on. Just cut it down the middle and look at how cool that is in its symmetry. So love how that came out. And there's a cool kind of a design where they use to build these wings. And what they do is they're kind of not like a straight build. They're slanted by using these 45 degree plates right here, which this isn't one included in the set because you only get, I think, two in the set. But you get these, and what it does is it kind of puts these wings at kind of a different degree. Now, they're not like anything that you could fold or anything like that, which is understandable because it is a $20 set, but like they're kind of fixed at that position to give it that kind of W look that you would expect from a jet. So love how that came out. And the main play feature that you have here are these two rapid fire stud shooters, which I'll demonstrate later because they're very messy, but very cool to play with. Uh, lots of stickers going on here, I mean, not lots, but there's still a few there. There's one right here, one there, and then one there. And 
at the tail right here, they actually use one of those jet engines in black, which very cool to get that because that actually doesn't come in much cheap sets, so that's nice. And also you have these tail pieces in black, uh, which you could actually fold up like this if you want. But I think they look better when they're kind of folded down like that. Um, it gives it mu a much cooler and much sleeker look um, and kind of has that slant that's matching the wings. So I like that. Um, no kind of designs in the back of the turbine right there, but uh, still very cool. And then you got those little stickers on the side right there. In the middle, there's actually where the app brick is, is just this kind of little drone, as they call it, which you could take out because there's a little uh, one by 2 jumper in there in pearl gold, which you could kind of see there. Uh, but they also include these two jumpers right here, which don't have much of a use, but uh, are just kind of there, so you could probably fit something inside there if you'd like. But this jumper right here, or this, sorry, not jumper, but this drone actually has these two little app bricks on there. So that's where you would kind of put it on your device to kind of unlock a new level or I think something like that with the Ultra Agents app. Not the most complex build, but adds a little bit more play features and that app connectivity to it. So we'll just put that back in right there, which it fits on very well and actually kind of adds a little bit of design to that. So it gives it a more kind of unique build to it. And then the main cockpit right here, there's a sticker inside with this kind of control panel, um, maybe a little radar or something like that. And you could fit the one minifigure Curtis Bolt in there. And you actually fit his gun as well because there's this little clip or this brick with the clip modified at the end of it. So you kind of fit it on like that before you put Curtis in. And if Curtis is sitting down, you could kind of go in like that. And there you go. You could close the cockpit and he fits in there very, very well. Now, there's a little bit more to this set because of these two rapid-fire shooters. Now, I'm going to demonstrate this once, but uh, this is, like, the coolest feature. I, I, well, not the coolest feature because I, I think the build is my favorite feature, but, like, just a really cool play feature. And Okay, so what you do is you're going to have to twist his back and... Okay, let's do this. Ah! Ah! Isn't that awesome? Okay, let's do that one more time, but, like, super fast. All right, ready, set, go. So all those studs just go flying, and it's okay because they actually include... 13 extra ones, which is really cool. And so you get, I think, around 25 altogether. And then these little shooters that you have those rapid fighter, fire kind of uh, stud shooters on are actually on a little turntable. So you could kind of turn that around and position that 360 degrees, which is awesome. So that's going to be really useful for kind of playing out these scenes where you're swooshing this around in the air and shooting it in different directions. So that's it for the ultrasonic kind of jet. And you can look at the bottom right here on how that build was kind of executed all together. Very cool. Love how they did this one. And now let's go on to the box and the final verdict. So here is the packaging for the set. It's the thin $20 box size. Pretty cool. And uh, you have this nice instruction booklet, which has some weird ads to it. Like you have all the 2015 Ultra Agent sets, but then you have these weird kind of ads with this little kit on it, which is just really funny to look at. And now let's go on to the final verdict. All right. I'm going to be honest. I love this set. I mean, there's nothing I can say that is bad about this set. It's a great set for the price. There's two awesome minifigures and one just amazing minifigure. One of my favorites of this year with Dr. Brainstein. Two vehicles, if you count the mech as a vehicle, and just a sleek, sleek ultrasonic jet, which is not like any jet that LEGO has put out before. It has a great color scheme with the black and the translucent blue. Some great pieces with like the black turbine and some other great pieces on Dr. Brainstein. So I'd rate this set an A+. There's nothing really that I, I have like a flaw with this set. Some people may say the price per piece ratio isn't 10 cents per piece. I don't mind that because there's so many cool new molds in here and there's so many great new printing and great pieces in this set and it's a satisfying build on both ends that I don't have a problem with that whatsoever. I mean, it's like 180 pieces for $20. Great set. Definitely recommend it. And that's it for now. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.